Hey everyone, guess who's back? It's your old pal, the atheist gamer. You know, the guy who likes to talk about lots and lots of shit about anti-feminism uh, and a few stupid shit that's going on around the world. Well, guess what? I'm back at 100%. Well, not necessarily 100%. You know, I'm still missing my picture editor. You know, Adobe. Um, I forgot. Something Adobe. Don't worry. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it back. Um, <clears throat> you know, let's celebrate by making a video about a certain feminine. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. In a recent video by The Justicar, a well-known YouTube anti-feminist and vitriolic snake in his comments section. Oh, oh, fan-fucking-tastic. I'm making another video response to Jenny McDumbledore. But then again, I suppose making videos about Jenny McDumbledore isn't too bad considering that I'm actually getting a lot of views and even a little bit of money just by talking about her. So maybe I might actually get a little bit of income just by talking about Jenny McDumbledore. And I know it's not much, but it's going to grow over time. We see more anti-feminist content as he mirrors a video recently made by known pro-Gamergate porn star I'm sorry, sex worker, Mercedes Carrera. The title of the video is Why Does Feminist Frequency Refuse to Help Sex Workers? Hashtag Gamergate. In the video, Mercedes discusses a porn actress who she doesn't know by the name of Cytheria, who is the queen of squirting, AKA long distance pissing. This woman was recently the victim of a break-in that resulted in her being raped and her husband being assaulted. Mercedes quickly gets to the main point of her video. She stands by Gamergate and has watched false victims try and use their victim status to turn a profit over online harassment, all the while someone was recently raped. A serious problem that trumps lesser issues of abuse. What really fucking bothers me is that for the last two months, I have sat by in Gamergate and I have watched false faux victims utilize the world for their own personal and profit aims, claiming victimhood over emails and over comments on Twitter. And here you have a woman who's a real victim of a real rape and a real assault. And those same women who claim that they care about women's rights have done nothing. They have done jack fucking shit. Mercedes is committing the fallacy of logic known as relative privation. Thanks, Captain Andy. Just keep watching. There's really nothing for me to say. You know, just, just keep watching. You know, I never talked about Captain Andy, but um, all I have to say is that he has the most laziest intro ever made. The fallacy of relative privation. Uh, if you've not heard of that, here is a montage of various assholes on YouTube using the fallacy of relative privation. I got really like angry and excited and like activisty. Annoying activism about first world problems. About no more first world problems. Oh please God, no more first world problems. I can't handle any more of them. Dear Muslima, stop whining, will you? Yes, yes, I know you had your genitals mutilated with a razor blade and. <sighs> Don't tell me yet again. I know you aren't allowed to drive a car, and you can't leave the house without a male relative, and your husband is allowed to beat you, and you'll be stoned to death if you commit adultery. But stop whining, will you? Think of the suffering your poor American sisters have to put up with. Only this week I heard of one. She calls herself Skip Chick. And do you know what happened to her? A man in a hotel elevator invited her back to his room for coffee. I am not exaggerating. He really did. He invited her back to his room for coffee. Of course she said no, and of course he didn't lay a finger on her, but even so. And you, Muslima, think you have misogyny. 
to complain about. For goodness sake, grow up, or at least grow thicker skin. Richard. I like to use words like oppression to mean things like this, or words like patriarchy to describe cultures like this. To use the word patriarchy to describe situations like this. Millie reduces the word to a trivial level of first world problems. Relative privation or an appeal to bigger problems is an informal fallacy in which it is suggested an opponent's arguments should be dismissed or ignored on the basis that there are more important problems. What problems? Exactly. The, the, the problem with video games, the, the so-called sexism that exists within the gaming culture, uh, the, trying to ban a certain fucking word, uh, trying to uh, prevent men from spreading their fucking legs in the fucking subway because it's a space problem. All those feminist problems. This, this is fucking stupid. The feminist movement, at least third wave feminism, has become this massive fucking joke. It's literally trying to cling on to life. Don't try to complain about just about anything just to stay relevant. Seriously, look at Saga of Accords this week in Stupid about pretty much anything that's related to, to feminism. It's, it's the majority of this week is Stupid. It's focusing on feminist acts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She is dismissing the doxing and illegal online harassment, which consists of death and rape threats. Oh, the horror. Trolls on the internet. Because someone in the porn industry that she doesn't know was recently raped. You know, the, around the time that Beyonce was um, making this campaign of trying to ban the word bossy, um, there were like a bunch of women being um, sold as slaves. Where's the uproar in that? No, apparently the feminist priorities are fucking messed up. They would rather focus on banning a certain word because it somehow hurts a little girl's feelings than to actually help people. According to the Justicar's fans, who are all I have to go off of as the Justicar himself did not respond to my comment, his video is intended to target only feminist frequency and not feminists. Carrera explains that she tweeted to feminist frequency about the rape and received no response, which means that Anita Sarkeesian doesn't care about raped sex workers. I guess it's rather strange to try to contact Anita Sarkeesian because Anita Sarkeesian's ego is so fucking large it can be seen from the Grand Canyon! Similarly, the Justicar does not care about rape or online harassment because he refused to respond to my comment on his video. Well, seeing that it's you, I don't blame him because some of the comments that you make, not some of them, all the comments that you make is absolutely stupid. It makes you look like a fucking troll. I guess this is why you are you look up to Bewildered Ape so fucking much because Bewildered Ape, he barely makes any good rational arguments whatsoever. And I'm still waiting for that fucking video response from Bewildered Ape. Still. Mercedes goes on to say that the same people who care about women's rights, let's be honest here guys, she is now speaking directly about feminists and not just feminist frequency, have done jack shit. Does she mean that all feminists should gather all of the records of every last victim of rape and make a YouTube video or hunt down rapists? Are you fucking How about this? Set your fucking priorities straight. You know, instead of focusing on, say, a, a, a supremely a minor problem that doesn't even exist, such as sexism in video games, do something that actually helps women. What does she want us to do outside of what is already being done? Set your priorities straight. Make it more 
illegal to rape than it already is, we are trying to change the thinking at universities that teach women how to avoid being raped rather than teaching boys not to rape. Oh, that's stupid. That's fucking stupid. Holy fuck is this wrong? Okay, let me explain to you something. We do teach men not to rape. In the same way that we teach people not to steal, not to break into people's home, not to murder. All right? And don't give me the so-called one in five women, one in six women could could end up being raped. Don't bring up that shit, okay? Because that statistic is absolutely fucking wrong. Feminists are against gender-based violence. Rape is included under that umbrella. <laughs> what a joke. Does she mean to say that feminists do not support sex workers? If so, this is completely inaccurate. Feminists support sex worker rights such as paid sick leave and benefits for sex workers as a band-aid for problems with sex trafficking. And, and yet sexism in video games is a problem. Some feminists, myself included, believe that while this is a quick fix, this also enables the problem at hand, which is the worker is performing these acts out of a need of financial stability. They are doing this to feed themselves and pay their rent and bills. It is because of this that the customers of sex workers, aka the Johns, are taking advantage of these men and women as they have the power in this situation. There are actually a few sex workers out there that um, do this for the money just because they just want extra money. I mean, nothing wrong with that. And also, what the fuck are you even talking about? Okay, I can understand a hooker being abused by um, a man. That does happen, but... What fucking power? You know, it's just a mutual agreement. I pay you money, you give me fucking... You give me a fucking... They have the money. Some feminists consider the Johns to be, in a sense, raping these workers who have had to turn to this industry out of desperation or out of an internalization of misogyny. What? brought on by constantly being introduced to the sexual objectification of women in advertising and in the media. No, 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 seriously. What? Okay, objectification goes both ways. For fuck's sakes, you just showed a man lying down on his back, you know, shirtless, and somehow you're just saying that, oh, look, 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 the woman's objectified. That's sexism. You literally stated in that one picture that this is sexism towards women because it's objectifying them. Yet there's a fucking man, half naked. And you see it somehow that it's sexist towards women. Even when the fucking evidence is staring right at you, you deny this shit. You are a very, very, very stupid person. Watching a video from Jenny McGronald is a fucking endurance round of my fucking sanity. This is like playing Dr. Jekyll and Mr. High on the NES with just your feet. It's like playing Superman 64 on Nintendo 64 for 10 straight hours fucking flat without going fucking crazy. I would rather have my gender swap and then have sex with a fucking cactus and then nine months later get pregnant by this fucking cactus to give birth to cacti children coming out of my fucking vagina. This is how bad Jenny McDermott's videos are. 
And hate to break it to you, but it wasn't the patriarchy that forced these women to be sex workers. They did something in their lives that they fucked up and now they are sex workers. Or they became sex workers because they enjoy the shit. Either way, it has nothing to do with misogyny. It has nothing to do with sexism. It has nothing to do with... Uh, the patriarchy has nothing to do with any of that shit. You become a sex worker under your choice. Not because society forces you to do it. This unfair power dynamic is why we file sexual harassment against bosses or try to impeach the president for fucking an intern. The person who supplies you with money has authority over you and is taking advantage, no matter how consensual the sex is. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! Feminist frequency not responding to your tweet is not the equivalent of Anita Sarkeesian stating that she does not care about your friend that was raped. Because Anita Sarkeesian has her fucking priority fucked up. She would rather focus on video games that contain quote unquote sexism than to actually helping women try to get a degree or at least try to help women gain confidence in themselves. No. Sexism in video games comes first. Brilliant. Feminist Frequency has 256,000 followers on Twitter, which Sarkeesian has said results in her being harassed all day long by hundreds of crazed anti-feminists. And she uses this special block bot that she has on Twitter, you know, and I'm one of those people that are part of the block list. So I can't see any of Sarkeesian's tweets, but plenty of other people can. Especially those who like to suck on her cock so fucking much. And pro Gamergate fanatics. Do you really think that she would even catch a single tweet from Mercedes Carrera, a virtual nobody until like two minutes ago? Even if she did receive the tweet, why would she respond or take seriously a fallacy committer? Well, geez, I don't know. Maybe she can get off her mighty throne of hers and actually do some fucking good in the world. Who regularly finds herself on the wrong side of the argument. A person who was recently on the Drunken Peasants, one of the main contributors to Anita Sarkeesian's online harassment. No, ignoring somebody's tweet does not mean feminists support the rape of sex workers. It, it just means that feminist priorities are fucked up. Justicar, you lose. No, Jenny, you lose. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace.